It is not an ordinary 4th of July in Culpeper County this summer. Just days ago, following months of reporting from the News 4 I team, Sheriff Scott Jenkins was indicted on federal bribery and conspiracy charges. And in the indictment, the feds allege the longtime sheriff took bribes in exchange for appointing people, auxiliary deputies, allegedly giving them nationwide concealed carry rights. No one has heard from Jenkins until today when News 4 investigative reporter Ted Ober tracked him down. If there's a big story in Culpeper, it gets chewed over at the Frost Cafe, the heart of this small town right on Main Street. And this holiday week, that big story is Sheriff Scott Jenkins and his federal indictment. Bobby Burnham is a waitress there. It's alleged that he well, sold. Well, it is alleged that but... he sold badges for bribes. Okay. Well, should he remain sheriff? In my opinion, no, he should not. We found Ed Jones on his way out of lunch. If this is the truth, it's a sad situation. For our town. And found Culpeper County Supervisor Tom Underwood on his way in. It's embarrassing. To whom? Uh, the county. According to the indictment, Sheriff Scott Jenkins accepted at least $72,500 in cash and campaign contribution bribes since April 2019 from at least eight people, including two undercover agents, as well as Rick Rahim, Frederick Gumbiner, and James Metcalf. In exchange for those campaign donations, the feds allege Jenkins appointed the men auxiliary deputies, which allowed them to carry concealed firearms in all 50 states without obtaining a permit. I've known Scott for more than 30 years. Former Culpeper Police Chief Chris Jenkins, no relation, is deeply disturbed by the charges. To see a leader of an organization, the leader of this county, uh, that he would betray that trust and basically sell out badges to the highest bidder. Um, I mean, it's, it's unfathomable, I think, for this community. Should he be running the sheriff's office today? I don't believe so. But Sheriff Jenkins hasn't stepped down. And since the indictment became public, hasn't said a thing publicly until now. We tracked the sheriff down outside his office today. And before he could roll up the window and roll away, he told us, I am still sheriff. I am still working. I am still running for office. To his elected colleague, that may not be enough. You called the indictment embarrassing. Yes. Is his continued service embarrassing? I don't believe so. To the former chief here, it's too much to take. As far as I know today is that he is the sheriff of Culpeper and he is in charge and calling the shots. How does that sit with you? I don't think it sit well with anyone. Sheriff Jenkins is set for trial in September, re-election in November. His attorney did not return multiple messages or calls today. In Culpeper, Ted Ober for the News 4 IT. The three auxiliary deputies indicted with Sheriff Jenkins pled not guilty last week. Sheriff Jenkins has not yet entered a plea. You can find more of Ted's and the I team reporting online at NBCWashington.com. Also, be sure to check out our NBC Washington app and click on Investigations.